This is your home screen whether you're using KitEvent Pro or KitEvent Lite. If you ever want to get back to this page once you're moving around in the tool, all you have to do is click the KitEvent Pro logo right here. Now there's a toolbar across the top that will help you navigate through the tool. And basically everything is organized into four kind of generic umbrellas. You've got things that you'll need to set up your event, things that are still administrative but uh, occur before your event, then you have those things you'll need during your event, and the things that you'll need after your event. Now right off the bat you'll see some gauges that will help you monitor your progress in preparing for your event. And once your event kicks off you'll be able to see your average daily attendance at a glance right here. If you purchased Kit Event Lite, you can only manage one event, so everything on the site that you see will pertain to your one event. But if you purchased Kit Event Pro, you'll be able to create and manage multiple events. So the first thing you'll want to do when you log in is to choose the event you want to manage. Simply click on the session selector and choose your event from the list. Now you'll be able to see previous events, so keep that in mind when you're naming your new event. You may want to name the event according to the theme or to the year to avoid confusion. And you can change the title right here in the setup menu under church and event info. This is also where you'll create a new event. Now we've already covered that pretty extensively in a previous video, so we'll skip that section for now. But let's look at the other features under the setup menu. Now this admin feature will give you a few administrative tools. These features are a little more detailed, so we're going to cover them in a separate tutorial video. So let's go down to Volunteer Roles. Kit Event Pro will require you to assign each volunteer to a role. So it's important that you set up volunteer roles before you start accepting volunteers. You can choose from a set of default roles, or you can create additional roles to expand your list of choices. Let's go ahead and click on Add Default Roles to see the system's default roles. There are approximately two dozen default roles, and you can edit or delete any of these. To add your own roles, come back up and click the Add a New Role button at the top of the page. Now what that's going to do is give you a field down here for you to enter your own role. Now let's call this one Worship Team. Now if I'm happy with it, I can click Save, or if I've changed my mind and I really don't want to add this role, I can click Cancel. We'll go ahead and save this one. And now you see if we go to the second page, we have Worship Team right here as one of our custom roles. You can add as many volunteer roles as you need and you can call them whatever you want. The last section under Setup allows you to set up groups. Now you can set up groups under a hierarchy of departments, classes, and rotations or tracks. A department is simply a collection of classes. Think of it like an umbrella over several groups. You can determine what your departments are called and which classes are in each department. So you might want to create one department for preschool and one for children, or you might want to set up a department for an age group that has multiple classes of the same age. You could even set up a department for all of your crafts classes or all of your sports tracks. It's totally up to you. You can decide how you want to set up your departments and can group classes together however you'd like. So to set up a department, all you need to do is click on the Add a New Department button. Immediately you're given a field for a department name, a director, and a director's email address. So let's create a new department. Let's call this one the Preteen Department. And I'm going to leave the director and the email address blank for now. Now if I've changed my mind, I can cancel. But I'm going to go ahead and click Save to accept. And there you go. You've just added a new department. And setting up classes is just as easy. We're going to come down to Groups and click on Classes. Now be sure to set up a class for every group you want counted in your attendance totals, not just your small group Bible studies. So for example, your administrative team, your worship team, and your security team could all be set up as classes. That way you can include them in your attendance totals for each day. Now to add a new class, you simply click on Add a New Class. And again, you're given a field for filling in information. Let's set up one for three-year-olds. There are drop-down menus that will let you assign a volunteer to this class and that will let you add this class to a department. Now the volunteer you want to assign to this class is the one that you want to be your lead teacher or your director for this class. 
If you already have approved volunteers in the system, they will appear in this drop-down list. If not, leave it blank for now and come back later after you've added volunteers to the system. Now we'll assign the three-year-old class to the preschool department. And you can leave the class maximum blank, or you can choose to set a max and also to assign a room number. Now all you need to do is click Save, and this class will automatically be added to your class list. Now let's look right here at 5th and 6th grade. You'll see these are missing a department, and that's fine to leave them blank, but let's go ahead and edit these, and we will add both of these classes to our new department, Preteen. Let's see, we'll click on Edit. I'll scroll down. We will add Preteen to the list, and then I'll click Save. Of course, you also have the option to edit or delete any of your classes at any point. Now let's go back here to the setup menu one more time and take a look at the last groups that we have, which is rotations and tracks. A rotation or a track is an activity that classes can participate in during your event. In this section of Kid Event Pro, you can create a schedule of rotations and activities that classes can attend. To add a rotation or track, click on the Add a New Rotation button. Enter the name of the rotation, my favorite one, Snacks. Assign a leader to this rotation, and then enter the location where the rotation will meet. Then click Save. You can add assistant teachers or rotation helpers to your rotation simply by clicking on Assistance. Come down and click Add a New Assistant, and then select your assistant that you'd like to assign right here from the drop-down menu. Then click Save. Incidentally, you can assign assistant teachers to your classes by doing the exact same thing. Let's go back to classes and take a look. Let's add an assistant to the first grade class. We're gonna click on the class name and then come down and you'll see there are no assistants listed currently, so let's add a new assistant. We'll select from our list of volunteers, add them to the class by clicking Save and you'll see now we have an assistant listed for first grade. Now let's go back to the rotations menu for just a minute. Let's add some more rotations. How about we have a soccer track? And we're gonna select yet again, a leader. I'll skip the assistants for now and let's put these guys outside on the soccer field. We'll click save and now let's have a music rotation. Again, we'll do it the same way, and we'll say this is the music suite. All right, so now we have a few rotations here. Let's talk about how to schedule a rotation. All you have to do is click on the name of the rotation to fill in schedule information. Click on Add a New Class to start scheduling. First thing you'll want to do is to choose a class from the drop-down list, let's say first grade. Then you select the appropriate day and the start and end time that this class will attend the rotation. Let's say that first grade is going to start at 9.15 and they will run to an end time of 9.45. That gives them a half hour. All right now we're going to click Save, and you'll see that now first grade is scheduled for music from 9.15 to 9.45 on Monday. Now you want to continue this process for each class that will attend the rotation that day. So let's add another class, and this time we'll say second grade is coming, also on Monday, and they're going to come from 9.00. 45 until 1015. All right, now we've clicked Save. Of course, you can still have the option of deleting or editing at any point. Let's add one more class. Where's third grade? There it is. Third grade on Monday and let's give this to them from 1015 until 1045. All right, 
and we'll click Save. So now we have a schedule built for one full day of the rotation, assuming that only first through third grade are going to rotate. So I want to show you how you can duplicate the schedule and apply it to other days of your event. To do this, all you have to do is click the Duplicate Day link, and then select the days that you want to duplicate your times. Let's do them for all, and then all we have to do is click Go. It'll ask, are you sure you want to duplicate this? Yes, I am. And now you see that you have a completed rotation schedule for first, second, and third grade across the entire week of your event. Now all you have to do is repeat the process to schedule each rotation and track. Again, simply click on the names and go from there. Okay, that covers all the features of the setup menu. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have specific questions or you need additional help, check out the other tutorial videos or click on the help link right here to chat with a live agent or contact LifeWay's online support center.